Yo, what's up guys? Today's video, we're going to talk about five good habits that you need to start developing with King to improve your game. All right, so for starters, I really recommend King player Star to master his giant swing and tier one a twister. Like these two throws are um, super important and it's a real complex input. You know, it's forward, half circle, forward, one. Real complex and I can definitely understand it being um, really difficult to master, but this grab is, um, is King's best throw. So um, you have to really learn this and be real consistent, like on both sides. You have to be able to do it like out in the open. You have to be able to do it while you're buffering, you know, from a previous attack. These are called like tick throws. I don't know if you guys play like other fighting games before, but um, yeah, they're called like tick throws because you do them like after attacks, like after they hit or after they're blocked. Basically, whenever you're in like the advantage, you um, do a giant swing and you see you have plenty of time to buffer it while you're doing attacks. So that's a real big plus. And the good thing about it is you can buffer giant swing and uh, tier one of twister which is the, uh, you know, giant swing, but with two. You can buffer both of those throws from pretty much anything. Like even from a cross jab, you can do a giant swing, um, tier one of twister here. Yeah, just try to work on that and be more consistent at that because um, like, even like if they're in the air, you need this because it can be like an easy beginner combo here from side step two or like counter hit four, four with one. You need to be able to giant swing so yeah they they double as air throws and as you can see giant swing it has a double arm animation so it's real confusing to a lot of players especially in the um like lower levels and even intermediate and high levels sometimes so um very very important throw obviously you know tier one of twister two you can't just ignore 50 damage and you know giant swing can't stop singing the praises of it. You see, on a wall, so much damage. Straight up 70. And out in the open, 45 if they tech roll and um, 65 if they don't. So, um, yeah, it's super important to learn. Super, super important. I just say try to do it as many times in practice mode as you can to start to get more consistent with it. So, um, very very important as i mentioned in the five bad habits you need to stop with the alley kicks here being really bad lows so you start to wonder like what lows do you need to use right so um down three down four 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 neutral two those are three of king's best low attacks and um here's why so we can start off with uh down four here very very quick 14 frames uh that's pretty fast at the same speed you know it's down four of one and the good thing is it immediately crushes high attacks so um that means it goes under them so i'm gonna just have zafina jabbing here you see as soon as you hit the button it goes under so crushing the highs it's like any high attack in the game it doesn't matter what what it is you do down four it's gonna go under it and it's gonna hit so that's really good the other good thing about it is that um really good range you see range is spectacular doesn't do too much damage you know just seven points but a little trick you can do is to crouch first and then do it and there you add three more points making it 10 points you can also um couple this with a crouch dash so let's um just do the command here let me try and get a little bit more clean so basically when you're crouch dashing you hold down and back and hit four and that's way that's the way you can do it from um crouch dash and fast see it could be like an approaching low that has a better um hit box than like four four neutral two so the other thing about it is um it's very very good with tracking so let me just set Zafina to block here and show you guys yeah, you see, tracks pretty well. 
both directions so anytime you're plus you know that's a really good low to just throw out doesn't do a lot of damage but it can definitely like irritate the opponent to where they might want to start ducking or like hop kicking or low parrying you can just change up your timing and go for something else go for nothing wait on the punish so yeah down four is really good and uh four four neutral two is a, a low that you can argue that it's his best low but the weakness is definitely that it you know it doesn't track very well to either side so you have to be um pretty careful with this use it when the opponent really can't do anything yeah try to use it when um the opponent's on wake up or they're in recovery of something or if you're like approaching from afar and you've already conditioned them to stop stepping with like four forward one or down four so yeah four four neutral two again it's a another low that crushes highs not instantly but when he finally kneels down then um it goes under high attacks does a lot more damage than down four you see 15 compared to seven and obviously on counter hit you know massive massive damage 53 really nice so yeah 44 neutral 2 pretty strong low has a lot of range and another thing you can do with it is um just like with down four you can do it from a crouch dash to make it have a little bit more range so like right over here you see how hard it is to do almost impossible right you have to do it super fast so how do you approach with it you do a crouch dash then you get the move more range you can approach you know low profile and going under highs so it's actually very very good to approach with that move again remember condition them first with that mid four four one and down four and i didn't mention down three has some of the same benefits as down four as far as the tracking but the thing is it has um, really good damage you know 12 damage is uh pretty nice and uh, you see the speed of it 17 frames a little bit on the slower side and he doesn't crouch at all so like any high attack can hit him before the kick comes out so you have to really do this in close quarters and like when you have a frame advantage so um yeah make sure that you're placing this well but as you can see um really really good tracking both sides has really good range too i don't think i can uh yeah I can catch the back dash too. See, I have Zafina here because she has the best movement on the game. And just to show you guys, like, the hitboxes on these lows. Very, very good hitboxes. Those are the three best lows that you should be using. Yeah, use those three lows. Before we get into the next good habit that you should start doing with King, I want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Street Fighter Duel. Street Fighter Duel is a mobile game that incorporates iconic Street Fighter characters in a massive RPG-like experience. It features well over 40 characters and brand new characters that you not only face in battle, but also add to your team. Also, That's right, the iconic demon hunter Dante joins Street Fighter Duel in this dope collaboration with Devil May Cry 5. Add him to your team and slay the competition with style. Enjoy playing as Dante and classic Street Fighter characters by downloading Street Fighter Duel for free using the link in the description below. Let me know your favorite team and your current levels for them in the comments. So this next thing that I want you guys to start doing should be of no surprise and it's more throws so especially the um, multi throws from crouch dash and the ones from jaguar step definitely definitely learn those and then there's a third one there's one from the uh, crouch throws and you get it from um jaguar step two which is down plus forward down plus forward plus two plus four or one plus three and that's a uh, 50 50 they both look the same ambiguous and um really 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 strong if you can uh, memorize the entire extension it can do quite a bit of damage let me just show you here yeah this is the full ride yeah look at that 
And of course, the back turn three is guaranteed after that against everyone. Definitely learn those. And the reason why is because they're harder to react to. And um, you can actually mix them up with mids. Like from the crowd stash multis, you can come up with like any mid of your choice. You could do while standing one plus two, while standing four. You can do um, while standing two, two or whatever. Or you can crouch like cancel and do forward three. Or you can even do like hop kick or delayed hop kick. Yeah, you, you can do whatever you want from those crowd stashes to mix up the throws. That's why it's pretty strong. Yeah, he has options from Jaguar Step with the fastest 11 frame mid, which is just one frame faster than a throw. So it's pretty hard to, um, you know, react to. You have to guess. And if you guess wrong, you get grabbed. At least the very first two here. They won't be breakable um, if they don't break the initial grab here. This second um, grab is free. Yeah, this octopus stretch is guaranteed. And then as you can see, they wake up right in front of you. You can do whatever you want as far as Oki. So um, definitely get started using those and uh, memorizing those multi throws. Very, very strong. It makes King really, really strong. So I know that we've been talking a lot about throws and lows and multi throws and all of that with King, but we gotta learn how to actually fight with him without using so many throws. So sometimes you're gonna come across an opponent that really knows how to break so many throws that you might begin to be discouraged and um, not know what to do. So this is what I want you to do is start to learn how to box. I've made a video previously about learning how to box and that's just simply using his pokes, his mids and his, uh, his highs and lows, the faster ones and like getting rid of um, the need to do so many throws and rely on them. So um, while it's still important to learn all the throws, you need to learn what all of his good mid pokes are, um, the safe stuff, the stuff that launches, the stuff that are um, like counter hit launches and um, like um, hit confirms all of that stuff. You have to learn it all. I know it's a bit much, but the the biggest thing is like uh, down forward two and uh, like down forward one push. All of those are good quick pokes that um, have pretty good rewards on counter hit. Let's start with like the simplest one. So down forward one two here. You know it's a natural combo anyways. But on counter hit, you can delay it and it'll still combo. Now it's not a huge window, so you have to really practice this. See, if you wait too long, let me um, delay it as long as possible. Yeah, you see, if you wait way too long, then it's not gonna combo. So you have to be able to like tell if the opponent is trying to attack you when you hit with this and confirm the uh, second hit. So down forward two, you know, at the, at the basic, part of this just do two one into um people's elbow pretty much guaranteed against everyone and you don't need to go for the super hard stuff like the uh burning knuckle aka the majin tech and all that stuff yeah you don't need to go for that yet just keep it simple just go for people's elbow this works against everyone and has really good damage and um the okay afterwards is actually pretty nice you see the opponent wakes up face up head towards so if they try to get up you do forward two one and it connects so uh yeah that's really really solid damage definitely learn those and um like while standing two two that's another good counter hit confirm that's a good one you got the push you can check that out on my top 10 who's with king video like the significance of it how good it is but yeah you have to be able to um poke the opponent and um like break their defenses with simple pokes combine that with movement and you'll be able to really break the opponent's defense and challenge them and then that'll open up the door for you to go for more throws once they're conditioned to respect your plus frames so if you um hit them definitely keep hitting them and eventually you know you can start mixing up throws you know those tick throws that i mentioned at the beginning of the video you can definitely start going for those too. And the last good habit I want you guys to start implementing into your gameplay is wall carry. I know this goes without save for like 
any character, but with King it's like even more important to um, get the opponent to the wall because you lose that on so much damage. I mean, um, you know, you just go for the running power bomb. This does have its advantages. You know, they're right at the wall. He runs them over to the wall, but the Oki is, um, you know, it's a little limited and you can't really go for too much besides the usual like down forward four, like down three. But um, if you actually change your combo route and actually take them to the wall, you can get a lot more damage, you see. 77. Or you can even go for um, like the kicks. Like down forward uh, 4 3 4. You can do that. Go to back turn by holding back and go for a mix up from that. You can go like for the moonsault, the unblockable. Or like a low drop kick, um, you know, down four. Or back turn three. Both of those hits hit the opponent on the ground. So that's actually really, really good for Oki because if they lay there, they get hit by both of them. And the moonsault hits grounded too. So that's like three things that hits, you know, grounded opponents. So um, if they get up, moonsault still hits. But still like a lot of people still struggle to... Um, Get around the uh, the three kicks into the moonsault on the tech roll so definitely start to implement that into your game um just simple wall travel just remember this the closer the wall is to you the shorter the combo needs to be so uh in a short short distance like this obviously um just go for shining torpedo if it's like a raw wall splat from like one plus two, three, shining torpedo. It's like the most damage you're gonna get um, for like the least amount of effort. Just go for that immediately. Now, if they're a little bit further away, just have them stand to approach. So if you land a launch here, all you have to do is just go for something quick and the wall will be right there. Yeah, a regular four will work. If they're a little bit further, then you can just forward 2-1. You see, you get the same thing. You can do that ender. I believe um, China Torpedo would still be good here, too. The scaling isn't as bad. But, um, yeah, 59, not too bad. But just remember, you want to be able to finish your combos. Like, always do complete combos. If you drop them, King is still blessed to be able to, like, do... They say... You mess up, right? You do four, two, one. You can always try to attempt to go for a moon salt. It might hit them if they tech roll. I know it didn't right there, because it's like an axis thing. Let's let's try it again. Let's see if you mess it up. Yeah, you see, it has a huge, huge hitbox. So if you mess up a combo, carrying them to the wall, always remember, go for the moon salt. Just go for it. It's either gonna hit or it's gonna whiff. And remember, if you're grounded then most times the opponent only gets one little hit and you can tech roll and be back on your feet to fight. If the wall is further away, then of course you need a longer combo. Just make sure you uh, familiarize yourself with all of the stages and adjust your combos accordingly so that you can at least complete your combos and start to go for an okay. Don't always do running power bomb as the ender because you might be missing out on some damage. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments about these five good habits to develop. But let me know what you guys think. Are there any other um, like beginner level habits you guys think that King players need to use to add on to this? Let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe so you can see more videos like this. A special shout out to today's video sponsor, Street Fighter Duel. Dope mobile game using iconic Street Fighter characters. If you guys want to give it a try, Download it using the link in the description below. So these are the five good habits you need to develop with King as a beginner. But what about the five bad habits you need to stop doing as a beginner? Check out this video right here.